Los Angeles has been hit by a four magnitude earthquake today. Now it seems that the geologists are overlooking a key section of the San Andreas fault line. It's been hit by a series of mega earthquakes that caused windows to rattle with the latest reaching four magnitude on the Richter scale, but LA may be spared from the next big one earthquake due to a small section of San Andreas fault that's previously gone unnoticed by scientists. Matt Atherson, Express UK reports, and we're going to see uh, how many people felt it, what happened. Los Angeles rocked by numerous earthquakes Easter Monday today, the largest clocking in at four on the Richter scale. Three earthquakes were recorded in the city within half an hour, and residents reported slight shaking of their homes. The first earthquake struck at 12.15 p.m. in East Lenox, part of the town. It reached 3.3 magnitude on the Richter scale, depth of 19.9 .9 kilometers, according to USGS. Just a short seven minutes drive away, another earthquake landed less than a minute later with uh, the uh, magnitude of 2.5, 26 kilometers uh, depth. And at 12.44, 29 minutes later, the third earthquake landed almost directly between the previous two, still in Lenox, and that would be the strongest earthquake of the lot, four magnitude Richter. And while Los Angeles is no stranger to earthquakes, it's now been revealed that the city may be spared of ever having to deal with the big one. The big one is a type of earthquake measuring at least eight magnitude, leading to mass devastation in build-up areas. Everywhere within 50 miles of the epicenter would be affected by such devastation. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The estimated estimate suggests that more than 14,000 people could lose their lives in the worst case scenarios of these mega earthquakes, with many casualties coming from LA and San Francisco. But scientists have now revealed the importance of the lesser known section of the fault line, which could also mean a much lower risk of a major quake. The so called Mission Creek strand has greater tectonic movement than previously thought, according to US GS scientists and the strand runs just beneath the little San Bernardino Mountains and was previously considered largely irrelevant to California's earthquakes. But the heightened movement is crucial because it relieves some of the stress and the pressure on the Banning and Garnet Hill strands. It's believed that the big one would largely result from an earthquake on the Banning or Garnet Hill strand, but the revelation of Mission Creek's movement means the big one is far less likely to happen. Any resultant earthquake would likely be spread over the three strands, which takes some of the pressure away from Los Angeles, thank goodness. The most recent large earthquake on the San Andreas Fault came in 2004. The Park Field earthquake reached six on the Richter scale after the fault line moved 18 inches. Aftershocks were felt in California for more than a week after that, following a series of smaller earthquakes slightly west of Park Field. Now let's go to the maps to see what was going on and um, the uh, wave frequencies of this earthquake. This is our map on Sizewell Berkeley and I'll leave for the link for you to see. So as you can see, 4.0 is right here. Santa Monica, Los Angeles area. And um, this is it right here. This is a 3.4 Beaumont. And these are our, this is a shake map as we can see. And going back to this, sorry about that. Let's go to our shake map. And this is it. You can see the whole area felt the shaking. Okay. Even Ridgecrest, and that's a volcanic field, the cause of volcanic field, as we know. And uh, how many people felt it? Over 7,000. Okay. So it was uh, in a very large populated area, as we can see. Going in. You can see the population density.
this is right on the San Andreas Fault. As we can see, the red is the fault lines. And going in, it's very difficult to see with all this, but the black is population density. Okay? Very populated, of course, as we can understand. And um, all of you there, please be very careful. Uh, we know that we had the 6.4 magnitude at uh, Ridgecrest before we had the 7.1 a day later. So please be very careful. And we are talking about San Andreas. They did, um, when the Ridgecrest earthquake took place, the 7.1, did um, the Caltech geologist did tell us that uh, with the southern uh, portion of the San Andreas is expecting a big one. So be very careful and alert. Thank you for your support.